Hey everyone, it's Mac from McClintock's channel. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is my uh, blasphemous Let's Play series. This is the first episode. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start playing this game um, and post as a long form video on my channel, but I will continue playing this on my live streams on Twitch and on this YouTube channel. So look for that in the future. I will also be uh, playing this off stream and off sort of like off recording as well. Uh, Blasphemous is a game that came out a few years ago. I think it was 2019 when the game was first released. Uh, one of those indie 2D action Metroidvania games that we see so much of still, even today. Uh, when the game first came out, I did... Uh, pick it up right away and I played maybe five or six hours of it and then eventually bounced off. Lately I've been getting a hankering to play more of these 2D Metroidvanias and so here we are, here we are. So I'm going to do a fresh restart. I do have a save game that I barely made any progress in. I'm going to ditch that and we'll uh, start from the very beginning. Let's delete this. See, look, 14 minutes played. Let's do, let's do a fresh save here. It is not the sun rising, but our sins, anonymous. Because it is my guilt, I claim the greatest miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Forge your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my guilt once again. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. I'll be honest here, I do and not thus, remember the details of this cutscene at all. Mourning and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace, sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle.
So I was a little quiet there because I was uh, mindful of some background noise happening around the house here. So, um, yes, here we are at the beginning of Blasphemous. Uh, this game is uh, very distinctive in its use of uh, religious imagery. Provocative religious imagery, I might add. And I have to say that was definitely uh, very... Uh, it has a very distinct look, and it really set itself apart from so many of the other 2D platform-based Metroidvanias out there, right? The, these type of games are a dime a dozen, and they uh, hit on, I think, a brilliant concept and uh, visual design. We shall see more of that as we get going here. Hell of an intro cutscene, I might add. It's been a few years, so I uh, have completely forgotten all about the uh, cutscene and how how it starts out with a, quite the bang. Okay, so yeah, we got your jumps. Go up and down ladders. There's no way to just... Uh... Oh, there we go. You can hit the B button and uh, quickly dismount ladders. Nice. No double jump. Not yet, anyways. We can... Uh, jump down from... Oh, right trigger. We got slide. Very nice. Saying X. We got this right here. Yeah, I am using Xbox controller and I'm hitting the X button. So I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> okay. Press Y to rest at the pre pre do. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Saving your game and refilling your health and flask. Upon death, you will respawn at the last visited pre day. Resting will cause enemies to respawn. So it's got that uh, Dark Souls mechanic. I will call these shrines or bonfires. For simplicity's sake and to avoid mispronouncing the actual name constantly. Right, it was just a tutorial to tell me to hit X to attack. Gotcha. <laughs> they just forgot to remove the button prompt after I smashed the uh, the pillars there. All right, cool. I know what's coming now. Low intro boss fight. Warden of the Silent Sorrow. Oh dear. Oh shit. Ooh. Pretty simple mechanics on this boss fight. Just gotta remember to avoid all his attacks. He's only got one one type of attack. Oh, I got hit. Got clipped there. Oh, and he is down. Got an achievement, which is interesting since I've beaten this boss before. <laughs> Requiem Eternum. Sit down, big boy. Oh my goodness. So, I took off my conical 
helmet thing, and I'm filling it with the blood of the boss, the slain boss, and I've just put it back on my head. <laughs> wild, wild. I admit to being quite uneducated in the ways of, uh, you know, theology, uh, religious history, things of that nature. I'd be uh, very interested to know if there, what, like, what kind of significance this is, uh, this this represents. Um, filling up a, a, a helmet with someone else's blood and putting it on top of you, or whether it's just completely fabricated by the uh, developers. <laughs> Obviously, they're taking uh, liberties <laughs> with the. Uh, with the religious texts and themes, I'm sure. Uh, but it's, how far are they going is the question. What I, what I uh, have noticed is that the, the combat mechanics are not very uh, complex, right? You have your swipes, you can crouch, and you can slash crouched, and you can aim up, and you can uh, slash upwards, and you can also do that while you're in the air. But that's pretty much it. You have your you have your slide, and that's it. And I wonder if there are more mechanics that open up. There has to be. There has to be. You need key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Okay. Now they're telling me here, you aim up and slash. Okay, jump first. Nice. The, the load screens take quite a while. The holy line. Oh, hello. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. Oh, I have to press something. I am Dale Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dark tuned church where the sleeper lies and the last one at the end of the trail carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Honda that grows into the earth take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword if when the time comes Grip your weapon firmly. You notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. You have acquired Thorn. 
Inventory. You can check out the items you have found so far in your inventory while playing. Press the start button to open it. Menu button. Okay. Do I need to equip it now? Or what? What's the deal here? Small gift from Diogracius. Nailed into the effigy of the Twisted under the guard of your sword. The thorns risen from the miracle feed on sin and guilt, growing with the burden that its bearer carries. There's a lot to read here. I'm just going to skip. So it's just maybe just active by default. This uh, this fellow here. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing. <laughs> the voice actor has come straight out of Elden Ring or something. However, what I do know is that according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to one okay. guard. Oh shoot! There's something going on with the uh, the audio and video sync. Give it a moment. Sorrowful be the heart. Okay. Okay. Uh, that happens on occasion. I believe it's because I'm running this game off of uh, external drive, uh, which is bad. I should put it back on the internal drive. I shall do that for the next recording. Okay. So yeah, very uh, reminiscent of Elden Ring, Dark Souls, in terms of the delivery of the story as well as the voice actor that they used here. Definitely wearing its influence on its sleeve. All right, our, f our first enemy after the boss. I seem to be missing some sound effects, right? <laughs> Where the sound effects go? Yeah, that changed nothing. Okay. Sound effects are back. We good now. We good now. Advanced technique: parry, counterattack, retribution. Ooh. Okay. They do have a parry. Press R to parry. This maneuver allows you to counter weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes. During a counter, press the X button at the moment of impact to perform a retribution, increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. So it's a two-step process here. Got it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're, we're getting some problems with the, uh, with the game here. Uh, constant freezing. I do apologize. Let's, I'm going to uh, bear with it for the next, say, 20 minutes, and then we'll call a close to this first chapter of our Let's Play, and then I will fix things up for, the, for next time. I should try pairing the guys with the, with the knives. Oh shoot, it's not good. We have these uh, mud people. They didn't really do anything to me. What do we got here? Redact. Oh. In order to use this prayer, open the inventory and equip it. Okay. Verdiales, Verdiales of the Forsaken Hamlet. Song that filled the air during the festivities of a lost village. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the penitent one. The ringing of a laced shell horn used to precede this chant, but now only silence remains. Let's equip it. Prayers and fervor. Equip a prayer in your inventory and then press left trigger to invoke it. Prayers and some combat techniques use your fervor. Attack and execute enemies to fill up your fervor bar. Got to keep the fervor up. Oops. Oh my goodness, this is this is turning into a nightmare with the amount of uh, 
pauses that happen and then the, the sounds, the sound effects desync. Fervor up. How do I get up here? This must be the the Metroidvania part of this game. It's like come back later when you have boots of super jumping. Oh, you can hang on to a legend. The, the parry uh, and retribution mechanics are quite satisfying. It's a rather forgiving uh, parry window so far. Oh my goodness, what's this? Advanced technique, air impulse. Red trigger plus X and air to ascend after hitting an enemy. You can do this up to two times before landing. Well, this definitely seems advanced. Oh, shoot, these mud men. Children of Moonlight, you'll find them caged all over Custodia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Luckily, these mud men do not do a whole lot of damage. How do I... How do I do that advanced move? Take a lot of damage here. Seriously, it's the same voice actor who's in Elden Ring. And this predates Elden Ring, so perhaps it is the same voice actor. It's, it's the same guy. It's gotta be. Uh-huh, okay. Gotta have a map if you, have a, if you uh, make a Metroidvania. It's been a nice straight line so far. <laughs> Another save point here. we have here it's just for show things are not going well here let's talk to someone sorrowful be the hard penitent one welcome to albero sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kissers of wounds are they really kissing wounds? Here who can still employ it. But Tirso is my name. How's it going? There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. Very right, well, should I just keep going on a straight line? No, it's nice to explore. Dove skull. 
There's a rosary bead. Equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Wrong uh, menu there. Okay, so dove skull. Skull of a bird drilled as a colette. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens depends on one's defenses. Okay. There are a lot of uh, items you can pick up and equip, apparently. And we have a bit of a skill tree here as well. That's cool. This is cool. That's really cool. Is there any fall damage in this game? No one else to talk to. Oh. Uh, this seems like something bad's gonna happen. Penitent one, you who carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. And wipe away our tears. Oh, jeez. Because it is an act of penitence. Did they upgrade my sword? I filled it with some more blood. The the sword, the design of the sword is kick ass. So what does that mean? Mia Culpa Shrines. Visit the Mia Culpa Shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend tears of atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mia Culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. Fantastic. So, wait a sec. Do I actually have to use it for real now? Yeah, yes. We have 490 atonement points, I guess. Okay, so we got this one called Last Words. Ten one performs a fourth combo finish attack. Press X repeatedly. This one's uh, quite expensive. Simple Wrath concentrates the power of the Mia Culpa on the blade, allowing the Penitent One to release its full potential in a single but incredibly devastating attack. Hold down X. For Fervorous Blood, uh, I can't unlock this yet. Sacred technique that allows the bearer of Mia Culpa to use the cut of its blade to bless its own his own blood and turn it into a throwing weapon. It consumes fervor. Press B to use a range attack. Okay. Weight of sin. It takes advantage of the speed of a fall to perform a powerful plunge attack. This sounds like it could be useful. Yes. I like the sound of that. And Sacred Thrust, the Penitent One takes advantage of the dodge impulse to thrust Mia Culpa at the enemies furthest away. Hold X while dodging. Oh, okay. I can't even afford the cheapest ones, which is a Weight of Sin and a Simple Wrath. I just should come back very soon, though, once I get enough uh, atonement. I'm going to go for the Plunging Strike first, I think. I'm excited. There's some cool stuff in this game already. Cool stuff. And yeah, I've mentioned it numerous times before. I'll be moving my install to my internal drive. So there's faster loading and it, there's no uh, freezes. I think it's some really bad freezing. I love that the main character is called the Penitent One. <laughs> okay. uh, 
I really want to just kill some things and then go right back to the, uh, the upgrade station. The Acopla. Fat Phalanx of Brannon. Oh, let's take a look at this. It's called a collectible. It's not something I equip. It doesn't really give me any uh, abilities, right? Yeah, it's just a collectible. Yeah. It's fine. Wasteland of the Buried Churches. Hey, what do we have? We have an enemy here. Okay, that failed. I can't, uh... Can't. The deflecting or the parrying doesn't seem to work too well. Or my timer's off. We'll see. Oh shit. Oh, I do have enough um, points now to get my Mia couple on. Yeah, just give me a moment. Albero. So going, returning to screens where you've gone through before, the load times are much better. That's good. Okay. Quickly go back here. Here we go. Weight of sin. Press down and X while falling. Let's unlock this bad boy. I have enough, right? Yeah. Oh, you have to hold it down. Got it. They don't let you spam the slide too much. There's quite a delay in between slides. I remember you, you were throwing shit at me earlier. Better to just dodge this lady. These are pokey pokies, gonna avoid. <laughs> there's no air dash. It'd be great if there's an air dash. Maybe, maybe I can pick it up later on in the game. Oh, I can't hop down from here? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't hop down. Solid rock, apparently. Uh, I guess I have to go back to the, the the pit spikes. Right. Will I die instantly, though? If I, I don't think I'm meant to go through here yet. There seems to be uh, an obstruction as well, so I have to return here later. The graphics are outstanding. Oh, that's satisfying as hell. I can definitely tell in the heat of the moment it could be dicey to nail the timing. I thought it was late, but I still made the timing for the parry. Uh, 
it's a red doorway. Kind of. So I haven't tried my, uh, what's my, oh, there we go. There we go. It, there's a bit of a delay doing the down thrust, so definitely have to account for that. Sweet, another red doorway. Hmm. What does the rare doorway even mean? Oh, okay, so this part, I definitely want to go through here. I don't know why I'm killing these innocent people. Oh, I can't, uh... Oh, I get hit by the... Uh... If I touch him, it's, a, it's bad news. Shit. <laughs> oh my goodness, I pressed the wrong button. That was uh, sloppy, but uh, got through it. There we are. We've acquired Ula, oh, these names, man. Ula of Proclamation. When the Ula is equipped, you have a chance of earning Tears of Atonement when destroying an object. Cool. Let's get these upgrades. And now we have a way to get across safely. I need a, I need a shrine to refill my uh, healing. Definitely ham fist my way through that uh, mini boss fight. Ah, shit. I still got him the first time I did the uh, down strike, but. I don't like having to fight while there's a guy throwing shit at me. Whoa. Oh shit, I jumped into that. Do a finisher, nice. Oh, that's sick. The uh, audio cutout, though. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let me just find a save point here. One sec, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking a pause here because I, I just got a text message from my wife. Okay, I'm back. As I was saying, I was going to try to find uh, a shrine to save. Give me a... 
know what you got. Oh, but these gaps. Okay, I'm hoping I get a save point here. Oh, what's happening? Who's following me? Sister of mine, as I foretold to you, someone is heading towards the Forbidden Gate. Someone who seeks the purge and excommunication of all that is sacred and rests there. No, no, do not place your doubts on me. I am ready. Mercy dreams. I'm already feeling like I'm lost. Oops. Just press the wrong button. I want to get the map. <laughs> I just keep descending. Okay. Dead end. Oh, here we go. Wander around enough and you shall find what you seek. Alright. So I'm going to call it uh, called an end to this first uh, episode of my playthrough of Blasphemous. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will probably come back with part two as a YouTube video. But if I don't, uh, look to, look for this on my live streams uh, coming up very soon, probably uh, next week. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like if you enjoyed this playthrough and would like to like me to continue the series and uh, please comment if you have any uh, information to share about blasphemous or even the sequel blasphemous 2 which came out i believe last year in any case uh have a good day and i'll see you all next time bye for now